welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be showing you guys and girls how to install OpenTPCast on your TPCast. <laughs> now, the TPCast, I've been playing around with it uh, for about a week or so now for the Oculus Rift, and uh, I did a video reviewing it on the channel. You can check that out here if you're interested. Uh, basically, to summarize, my review is that I thought wireless VR is next level. I really enjoy the freedom of being able to move freely around your play space and really just sort of get immersed into the game without having to worry about being tangled up in wires. However, that sort of freedom does come with a hefty price tag, and that is £300 or $300. Also, it's going to need some sort of uh, setup involved, uh, and this is why I'm sort of doing this video for you today, to show you what's involved in getting OpenTPCast up and running on the TPCast, because OpenTPCast is really the only sort of experience that I would recommend, because it removes the sort of latency and increases performance uh, with the TPCast, and you don't get that sort of dropped frames. And also it restores your microphone, which is gonna be important for competitive games such as Lone Echo or Onward or whatever your bag is, so you can communicate with your colleagues. So in this guide, just to sort of give you a forewarning, you're going to have to disassemble this part of the TP cast, which is where the power adapter goes. Uh, it's likely to void your warranty, and you're also going to have to pay $25 for a license to use OpenTPCast. So just so you've got that all in mind, uh, let's start with the guide. And first off, I'll show you what hardware you're going to need uh, in terms of tools, and then what software you're going to need to download. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's start with the tools that you're going to need. First up, you're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver. Then you're going to need an SD card reader with a micro SD to SD adapter. If you have a spare micro SD card lying around, I would advise having a spare so the original SD card can be used to keep the original software on and then just flash a new card with the open TP card software. Now the new card, if you have a spare one, will ideally be eight gigabytes in size and at least a class 10 if possible. Okay, so let's now move on to the software. First of all, you wanna make sure that TPCast isn't running on your machine when you start this process. First up, you wanna download OpenTPCast image from the OpenTPCast GitHub page, and I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Then you wanna download and install WinDisk Imager or any sort of SD card imager program that you prefer. I'll also put a link to WinDisk Imager in the description down below. So to prepare for the installation, you want to extract the open TPCast image. Then go over to WinDisk Imager and put in your SD card. Now, if you're using the original SD card from the TPCast unit, then I would recommend that you read the image first and save a copy of the card image somewhere safe on your machine. Or if you're using a backup, just put the uh, SD card from the TP card somewhere safe and then use the new SD card to flash it with the open TP cast image. Now this process will take some time. So go and grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and then come back. Be careful flashing the open TP cast image to your SD card. Please make sure that you select the right drive and you don't want to overwrite a sort of uh, a Windows drive or any other drive on your PC. So please make sure you choose the right one for your micro SD card. Once the SD card is flashed with the open TPCast software, then you want to put the SD card back into the TPCast and reassemble it again. Then go ahead and download Virtual Here USB Client. I'll also put a link to that in the description down below. If at any point during the installation you're prompted to install Bonjour, you must install it to ensure the TPCast can be discovered by the virtual here USB client correctly. 
Now you've reassembled your TPCast and you've downloaded and installed Virtual here. Now you've got to open up the software and find your TPCast. If you've got everything set up correctly, you should see it here in the drop down menu. If for whatever reason you don't see your TPCast here, then you're gonna to have to manually find your TPCast IP address and add it here manually. And I'll show you how to do that now. You wanna enter the default IP address for the TPCast router, and that is 192.168.144.1. The password is 8427531. You then want to go to DHCP server, DHCP clients list, and look for a client with the host name TPCast and take note of the associated IP address. Once you've done that, go back over to virtual here, USB client, by right clicking USB hubs, specify hubs, and add the IP address that you've just discovered with 7575 at the end. Now that we've discovered that your TPCast is communicating okay, we need to buy the license to use the open TPCast software. In the virtual USB client, you wanna right click on USB hubs, select license and click copy to clipboard. Switch back to your web browser and then go to the link in the description down below to buy your license. Paste the contents of your clipboard into the paste in here field and then buy now with PayPal to complete the purchase. Once you receive an email with the license, launch virtual here USB client again and in virtual here USB client, right click on USB hubs and select license and then select enter license and copy in your license key from the email. Once that's done, you'll see this in the virtual here USB client, expand the USB hubs, expand TPCast, then right click and select auto use device port for each of your devices. This will mean as soon as you power on the TPCast, it will automatically launch Oculus Home and you'll be ready to jump into VR straight away. If you're having any issues during this setup, I'd definitely go and check out the guide on the GitHub. I'll put a link to that in the description down below, but I'd also recommend if you've got any specific questions to head over to the OpenTPCast Discord server. Okay guys and girls, so that is the end of the guide to install OpenTPCast on your Oculus Rift with your TPCast. Now I have to say, since using OpenTPCast, my experience with the TPCast itself has been much better. You know, the latency was improved and I've got my microphone back, which I used to record my videos, so that is really important to me. Now, a lot of the parts of this guide will also apply to the Vive version if you're interested, so no need to worry there. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, did you find the guide helpful? Was it easy to follow the step-by-step -step instructions? Uh, is it something that you're interested in or have you not picked up a TP cast yet, but you sort of wanted to look in advance as to what is involved in getting open TP cast installed? Have I swayed you to get one or have I swayed you not to get one? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. So leave a like if this video was useful to you. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.